Hey everyone, Peter here with the Citrus Bros and tonight I'm going to be making a video tutorial showing you how to fix this error. Now that might end on a 9.6. Basically when you're trying to open up a picture and Microsoft Photos isn't working. Um, you know, it's going to happen is it's just going to be a black screen for a quick second and then it's just going to crash. Now you can edit the photo, you know, with paint or, you know, if you have any other photo editing or viewing apps you can definitely use those this is just an issue with photos so there's going to be a couple different solutions and there's going to be uh, frequent pauses in the video just so i can jump from solution to solution so solution one is pretty simple you want to right click on your uh, start button go to apps and features and then right here just type in photos uh, once it's done searching, you want to click Advanced Options and then, you know, hit Terminate, Repair and just Reset. Now, again, you know, some solution might work for some people. Another one might work for some different people. I'm just going to go through the ones that I found through Microsoft forums and different types of forums. And, you know, like I said, some people said this works, some people said it didn't. So now that's basically solution one. It's the easiest one to do. And you know, go ahead and open up any photo and see if it works. Um, however, as you can see, it doesn't for me. Now, the second solution is oh, wow, okay, so we'll just do this. <laughs> solution two is a little bit more complicated. You go into PowerShell and make sure you do run it as an administrator as with everything else. Paste in that command. What that's gonna do is it's gonna delete photos off your computer um, so now if you try opening up any file you know it's going to try opening it with paint 3d or whatever else goes next so you want to go to the microsoft store what the? oh there we go okay try to get me to use internet i will never do that type in photos and microsoft photos now if you get some of those other apps you could probably use them to you know just view photos um, I'm not sure which one, you know, there's probably a whole bunch of different ones like Gallery HD or whatever. So just give that a minute to download. And once it's done downloading, I mean, you know, again, might work for some people, might not work for others. We will give it a shot. And as you can see, it is still crashing. So moving on to solution three. Uh, solution number three is again in PowerShell. And what this is going to do is it basically installs all the Microsoft applications. Now I'm going to, you know, pause the video while it's running that because it does show a lot of like, you know, personal information, um, you know, computer registry, all of that stuff, whatever. So, you know, just to be safe, I'm going to stop the video, but basically paste that code in, run it, and it takes maybe a minute. After that's done, again, it might work, it might not, but that's solution number three. Solution number four is uh, through command prompt. Again, make sure you run it as an administrator. Uh, what this does is SFC scan now, that's just going to scan your system for any file registry errors and it's going to use the cache. Um, to replace them. Now for me, it said there weren't any errors, but you know, we're just going to try everything because, again, some things might work for some people, some things might not. And, you know, just it's going to say it takes a while. Um, I think maybe 10, 15 minutes also depends on your computer. So as you can see, 1%, 2%. So, yeah, that, that, that step will take about 10, 15 minutes. And, you know, that's basically that. And after that's done, go ahead and test it out. It might work. And we're going to move on to solution number five now. All right, so solution number five is a little bit more complicated. Uh, here's all the commands that you want to use. Now, the first step is going to be deleting photos. And you want to do that through PowerShell. So it's the same uh, code as before. Just paste that in. And it's going to delete it. After that, you want to run command prompt. So go to CMD, run as administrator. And what you want to do is download this right here, PS Tools. 
um, I'm going to include the link. It's a direct download from the Microsoft website and you want to know where you tracked it to. So get the location by just clicking on the top, you know, see users, uh, Citrus, downloads, PS tools. And basically copy that and you can replace this whole first part with that. So, you know, just swap it out. And then after that, you want to copy this right here. What that's going to do is it's going to tell your computer to go right there, run PS exec and you know, that other command. So you want to hit that and this window is going to pop out, uh, you know, hit agree and it's going to give you another command prompt. Um, and then that other command prompt, you want to copy this right there. What that's going to do is that's going to basically delete the leftover Windows photos. Uh, and then, yes, yeah, so it's going to be like, are you sure? Just hit Y, yes, enter. So there you go. It's going to delete Windows photos and, you know, all the leftover files. So now if you try opening it, as you can see, it goes back to Paint 3D. Now you can install it again from Microsoft Store. Uh, if I can spell that store and you just have to refresh install give it a minute um, there's also a command to install Microsoft uh, not Microsoft store Microsoft photos um, if this does not work you know I will use that other one but as you can see now instead of just downloading a megabyte it's downloading 300 megabytes because what that command did is it deleted basically all the leftover crap you know all the cash and just all the all the stuff that had anything to do with microsoft photos so you know in a way kind of like a clean clean install where the other one just removed the app but it still kept all the leftover stuff um and then you know when you install the app it just puts it on top so i'm gonna pause the video while this finishes it up because the building that I moved in is apparently super crappy, doesn't have fiber internet, even though for the same price that I'm paying for my normal internet, I could be getting fiber if it was a new building. So yeah, if you guys are moving, you know, make sure, especially if it's your first move, read over all the paperwork, uh, talk to the neighbors, you know, do, do online searching. And also, I don't know if that's a thing, but I would recommend on your lease, um, see if you can get like maybe a wave period, you know, like first month, you know, if you don't like it, you can move out without any fines because, you know, everything might look fine the first couple days or when you walk through the building, but then when you move in, you know, the roof could come collapsing. So yeah, kind of a few tips for you, but I'm going to pause it real quick. Let that finish up. Okay. Now that Microsoft Photos is done. We're going to go ahead and try opening up a picture again. And there you go. We fixed it. Um, so yeah, this is the last step. Step five is probably the one that will get it done. Um, I'll post a link kind of to the Microsoft forum and this sort of forum that I found, which has nothing to do with Microsoft, but you know, gives you the solutions in couple simple steps and you know it's really useful so yeah that's the way of fixing it uh, as you can see step five took the longest because I just you know cut the videos into five little parts in case I made a mistake I don't have to you know go ahead and edit it it's easier to just delete it and reconnect the video um, so yeah make sure you know if you have any other issues I'll gladly help you out uh, because I've been dealing with this for a couple of days and you know the Microsoft uh, forum was just basically giving you the same you know same solution that didn't work so I'll try to help you out as much as I can but you know make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, comment on the video if you need help or you know anything like the video and yeah I think I think that's it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, I'll see you next time.